Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to your first grade ELA lesson for the day. My name is Miss Sophia, and I'm going to be your teacher today. So today we have tons of awesome things we're going to be learning today. We're going to learn a lot of new things, but we're also going to review some things we might already know. Before we get started with today's lesson, boys and girls, Miss Sophia always has a few expectations that she likes for everybody in her class to follow. So my first expectation, boys and girls, is just that we are facing forward and that you're looking at me while I'm teaching so I know that you're listening. My second expectation, boys and girls, is that we are sitting. So we're either sitting on our chairs, we're sitting on the ground, or we're sitting somewhere nice and comfortable so that we are sure that we're paying attention. And now today we are going to be doing some writing. So I suggest that wherever you sit, you have somewhere where you can sit down and write. And my third expectation, boys and girls, is just that when I'm talking and teaching a lesson today, I hope that all of my friends in my classroom today are being nice and quiet so I know that they're listening to me. So now that I've told you my three expectations for our class today, let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, boys and girls. So as I mentioned, this is ELA, and this is the first grade classroom with Miss Sophia. So for today, we're going to be learning quite a few things. We're going to start with our word of the day. We're going to break down that word, and we're even going to use it in a sentence. Next, we're going to review and practice some of our segmenting and blending. Then we're going to move on to our vowel flip book that I'm going to show you. We're going to take a little brain break and then we're going to do some reading and writing practice followed by a few tricky words and we're going to end our day with identifying nouns. Doesn't that sound like a lot of fun? I know I'm excited. I love learning about tricky words. Alrighty, boys and girls. So here are just a few things that we're gonna be learning today. Now, I'm hoping that by the end of today's lesson, boys and girls, you are able to segment and blend uh, phonemes together. So sounds, and I'm gonna teach you a neat trick with your fingers. So we're gonna be doing some fun finger tricks to help you with that. Also, by the end of today's lesson, I wanna make sure that you're able to um, pronounce and say different vowels. So I'm gonna teach you some vowels today. Remember, A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Also, by the end of today's lesson, we're gonna be able to isolate the sounds and words that we hear. And lastly, by the end of today's lesson, we're going to be able to identify nouns in simple sentences. We're going to get a lot done today. Alrighty, boys and girls, here is our word of the day. Now, who can raise their hand, just like me, and tell me what they think this word is? Before I even say it, I want you to tell me what you think it says. Look at the letters closely and try to sound it out on your own, okay? Take a second. If you need to use your finger to point to each letter to help you sound it out, we can do that too. All right, let's try it together. D, A, D, D, A, D. Boys and girls, on the count of three, I want you to shout out and tell me what the word is. All on your own, are you ready? One, two, Three, dad, good job boys and girls. If you thought the word was dad, then you are correct. This is the word dad. Now boys and girls, how many letters do you see in the word dad? Let's count them together. Put your fingers up, point to the screen. I want you to count the letters with me, starting with the letter D. One, two, 
Three. There are three letters in the word dad. All right, boys and girls, now we're going to identify the vowel in our word of the day. So let's see. Our vowels are what letters, boys and girls? Let's review. A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Now, boys and girls, I want you to look at the word. Do you see any vowels? What was that? You do see a vowel? Which letter is a vowel, boys and girls? The letter A. So there is one vowel in the word dad. All right, boys and girls, now it's time to count our consonants. So let's see. We have one vowel, so that's not our consonant. And we have one, two other letters. So let's count together. One, two consonants. Good job, boys and girls. There are two in our word dad. Now let's count our syllables. Remember, this is the one where we raise our hands and we're going to clap as we say the word and we're listening to how many syllables we hear. Are you ready? On the count of three. Everybody put your hands up just like this. Give your fingers a nice little wiggle. Here we go. One, two, three. Dad. Dad. Boys and girls, I hear one syllable in the word dad. Good job, boys and girls. All right, now we're gonna use our word in a sentence today, boys and girls. So I want you to, again, put your finger up just like this. I want you to point to the screen. We're starting on the first sentence and we're starting on the first word, boys and girls. So follow me here. I love my dad. Good job, boys and girls. Let's try it again, but this time I want you to say it with me. So I'm going to say the word and I want you to say it with me, okay? Ready? I, good job, love, good job, my dad. Good job, boys and girls. Now, let's count the words in our sentence. And we know that each word is its own because it's separated by what, boys and girls? Yes, there is a finger space between each word. So I know this is a word, and I know that this is a word, and this is a word, and this is a word. So let's count them together. One, two, three, four. There are four words in our sentence today, boys and girls. And what is this down here at the very bottom, boys and girls? It's a dot. What is that dot? It's a period. Good job, boys and girls. Now we're going to read our second sentence. Follow along with me as I say the words. Dad likes to play. Good job. Let's try it again. I'm going to give you a second to repeat after me as I say each word. Dad likes good job, to play. Good job, boys and girls. Now let's count the words in this sentence. Remember, each word is separated by a space. One, two, three, four. There are four words in our, in our sentence today. And what do we have at the very end of our sentence, boys and girls? We have a period. And at the very beginning, we start with what, boys and girls? Good job, we start with a capital letter. All right, boys and girls, now, I'm gonna review with you our uh, strategy on segmenting words. So I'm going to show you the word cat. Now remember, for this strategy, you're going to use your fingers to help you count the sounds. 
So I want you to do your best to put your hands up like this. I have four fingers up and I have my thumb and I've bent it down and it's holding against the palm of my hand. So here I have four fingers and we're going to count each sound of the word cat. Are you ready? Let's do it together. See what we did there, boys and girls? I was showing you that you can use your fingers to count the sounds. That's, that's how our strategy is. It's very easy to do just like this. With a little bit of practice, you're going to be an expert on it. So before we move on to blending boys and girls, let's go over some segmenting words and practice them together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say a couple of words and I want you to help me segment them, okay? Just like we did with the word cat in our video. The word we're starting with is at. We're starting with the word at. So let's put our fingers up and try it together. At, at. How many sounds do you hear, boys and girls? At. Good job, I hear two sounds as well. Make sure you're trying this with me. You may do it with your right hand or your left hand, whatever feels more comfortable to you, okay? And again, it takes some practice, but a good way to try it is to put your hand up like this and then just fold your thumb down, just like that. Our next word is as. So let's try it again. As, as, as. How many sounds do you hear? Abs. Do it with me. Abs. Good job. I hear two sounds, boys and girls. Our next word is ash. Ash. I want you to try this one by yourself, okay? So put your fingers up. Show Miss Sophia your fingers and let's see those fingers wiggle with your sounds. I'm watching. Ash. Ash. Good job, boys and girls. Now let's do it together. My fingers are up. And I, my word is ash. 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 Boys and girls, how many times did I wiggle my fingers? How many fingers did I wiggle? Ash. Two fingers, that means two sounds, boys and girls. You're so good at this. Our next word is odd. 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 Let's try it together. Odd. 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 What do you hear, boys and girls? How many sounds? Good job, boys and girls. I hear two sounds as well in the word odd. We only have three more to try, so make sure you're listening closely. These ones are a little different. Hop. 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 Try it with me. Hop. How many sounds do you hear in the word hop? Good job, boys and girls. I hear three sounds as well. Our next word is cat. Yes, it's cat. And I know we've already done this word together, so I want you to do this one by yourself. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of time. Put your fingers up and let me hear you count the sounds in the word cat. It helps if you say the word while you're counting the sounds. Go ahead, try it on your own. Uh, 
All right, I saw a lot of you really trying to do the sounds. Let's try it together. So I'm putting my fingers up, boys and girls, and we are doing k at k at k at. Boys and girls, there are three sounds in the word cat. Good job, boys and girls. All right, now we're going to move on to blending. So let's just review our strategy for blending. Remember, it's kind of like our segmenting strategy with a little twist. So let's take a look and practice it. All righty, boys and girls. So for our blending practice, we're gonna be using our thumb this time. So I have my fingers up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, every time I hear a sound, I'm going to touch each finger to my thumb. So look closely, I'm going one, two, three. So if my word had three sounds, I would touch one, two, three. If my word had one sound, I would touch one. If my word had two sounds, I would touch one, two, three. So we're going to practice and we're going to watch our video and see if we can do it together. So while the video is going, I want everyone to put your hands up like this, just like this. Put your thumb out and practice wiggling your fingers. Do, 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 just like that. This one's kind of tricky, so it's okay if you're having a hard time. Just keep trying. You can do it. So let's watch our video and practice together, boys and girls. Again, we're going to be using the word cat as an example. Very good, boys and girls. I saw a lot of you trying with me. I'm so proud of you. Remember, it takes practice, so just keep trying. So now we're gonna try to blend some words. So we're gonna go over the same list, but I'm going to say them to you differently. So instead of saying at, I'm going to say at. And I want you to listen to the sounds at, and I want you to blend them back together and tell me what the word is. So let's try this first one together, boys and girls. Our first word is at, at. What do you hear? At, at, at. Good job, boys and girls. Right on. Let's try our next word. It is apps. 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 What do you hear when I say apps? Apps. Good job, boys and girls. The word is as. As. Our next word is as. Ah, sh. Watch my fingers. Ah, sh. How many word sounds do you hear? Good job, boys and girls. We hear two sounds. Ah, sh. Ah, sh. Ash. Good job, boys and girls. Our next word is ah, d. Ah, d. Ah, d. How many sounds do you hear? Two sounds, boys and girls. And what word are you hearing? Ah, d. Ah, d. Odd. Good job, boys and girls. All right, we just have two more. Our next one is a little tricky, so make sure you're listening closely and you're really counting your sounds with your fingers. All right. Good 
What do you hear? <sighs> Good job, boys and girls. There is three sounds in this word. And the word is what? Shout it out on the count of three. One, two, three. Hop. Good job, boys and girls. Now for our last practice word, we're going to be using the word cat again. Now we've already blended this word together, but practice makes perfect. So let's do it again. All right, boys and girls. So we know that there is k, one sound, a, two sounds, t, three sounds, boys and girls. There are three sounds in the word cat. Good job. All righty, so now we're going to move on to our next practice item. Boys and girls, we're going to be doing our, our vowel flip book practice. So I have some vowels here and we're just going to look at them. We're going to find a word that starts with them and we're just going to get familiar with them. So I'm going to show you what I have. Boys and girls, what are our vowels again? Can anyone tell me what all of them are? Take a second. Think about it. What are the vowels? Oh, good. I heard quite a few people say what they are, but let's just try it together. A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. So let's start with our first vowel in our flip book, boys and girls. Our first vowel is the letter A. We have capital A, lowercase a, we have a as in apple. A as in apple. Good job, boys and girls, that is our vowel. Our next vowel is e, e as in egg. We have our word egg. We have capital E and lowercase e. Good job. We have I, I as an igloo. We have a uppercase I and a lowercase I. Good job. What's our next one, boys and girls? We've done A, E, I, O, O as an owl. We have our uppercase O and our lowercase O, and they look very similar. An uppercase O is just a big circle, and our lowercase O is just a little circle. And our next vowel is U. U as in umbrella. We have a capital U and a lowercase u. And lastly is our letter Y. Y is the last vowel. And we have our uppercase Y and our lowercase Y. Y is for yarn. So let's just say them all together again, boys. We have A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Good job, boys and girls. So let's see what's next. So we've practiced our vowels, boys and girls. We've practiced segmenting. We've practiced blending. We have done so much already. And now we're going to do some letter writing, boys and girls. So for our letter writing, we're going to need a few materials. You're going to need a sheet of paper. You can use lined paper. That works best if you're still learning how to write your letters. Or you can use a blank sheet of paper with no lines. 
I'm going to be using my whiteboard today with a marker. You may also use a whiteboard and a marker today if you have it available. So right now would be a good time to pause the video and go get all the materials you need. Remember, piece of paper, writing utensil, or a whiteboard with a dry erase marker, boys and girls. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started. Today we're going to be working on our uppercase I, A, O, and C. And we're also going to be working on our lowercase I, A, O, and C. So see, I put the letters down here so that I can look at them. But we're gonna start with our capital letter I, I. So for the capital letter I, boys and girls, what we're going to do is we're going to start at the very top. So if you're using a dotted line or if you have a um, lines on your paper, we're going to start at the very top line with a line straight down. So see what I did there? I just did one line and I moved it straight down. Then you're going to go back to the top line and you're gonna make another line across, like that. And for our very last part of our letter I, we're going to make a line at the very bottom, just like that, boys and girls. So you can see I have my letter I. Just like that. I, I is for igloo or ice. And I want you to practice writing the letter I three times. If you need to pause the video to do this, you may. We're going to practice each of our letters three times. So please feel free to stop the video and do it at your own pace. So again, we're going down, over, over, I. Good job. Now let's move on to our next letter. We're gonna do our lowercase i, boys and girls. So our lowercase i is a little bit different than our uppercase i. Can you see? Capital I, lowercase i. So for lowercase i, you're going to start at the dotted line, okay? And we're going to just make a line straight down. See what I did there? I did a half of a line, and then I'm going to go above it and I'm going to make a dot. This is a lowercase i. And again, you want to write this letter three times, boys and girls. So remember, we start at the dotted line and we move our hand down and then we add a dot on top. That makes the letter I. Now for our next letter boys and girls we are going with the letter A. A as an apple, a, a, apple. So for our capital letter A, we're gonna start at our top line and we're gonna draw a line down at an angle, which means we're not going straight up and down, but rather starting and pulling it down slightly. Then you're going to add another line just like it on the other side. So you're gonna start at the top and you're gonna pull it down, just like that. And lastly, we're going to cross our A. So we have A as an apple, A, A, apple. That is our capital A, boys and girls. Now, I want you to write your capital A three more times, okay? All right, let's practice our lowercase a, boys and girls. So we have our capital A right here and our lowercase a. 
So for our lowercase a, you're gonna start at the middle line or the dotted line, and you're going to make a circle all the way around like that. It kind of looks like an O, but then we're going to add a tail. Good job. So we are going to try it again. We're going to circle it around and bring it back down. The letter A as an apple. Let's try it another time together. Circle it around and bring it back down. A for apple. And again, if you need to pause the video, please do. Writing letters can be tricky, so it's important that you practice. And the best way to practice is to do it over and over again until you get it right. Our next letter is O, and this is one of my favorite letters because it's so easy to write. So for our capital letter O, we're starting at the very tip top of our line, and we're making a circle. Just like that, kind of an oval, if you will. Just like that, and we're gonna do that one three times together because this one is so much fun. So we've done it one time. Let's do it again. Get your writing utensil and let's make an O. And one more time. At the top, is everybody at the top? Good job, boys and girls. And we're just gonna circle it around. O, O as in octopus. So now, we're gonna try our letter O, but we're gonna do lowercase. So for a lowercase O, it's going to be a smaller size O. So instead of starting at the top, we're gonna start at the middle line or the dotted line, and we're going to make our O like that. Now it's important that when you're making your O, you are closing your circle that you make. Just like that. You don't wanna leave it open like that. That kind of looks like a U. Let's do it again. Start at the middle line and bring it all the way around. Close it. That's our letter O. All right. And now for our last letter today, boys and girls, we're going to do our letter C for k -k cat. So for our uppercase letter C, we're gonna start right here, kind of at the top, but not quite at the line. And we're going to bring it up, curve it down, around and up. Let's try it again. Start here, bring it up, curve it around. And one more time. Start here, bring it up, bring it around. For cat. All right, boys and girls, let's practice our last letter of the day and also our um, last lowercase letter. We're going to do a lowercase c. So just like our capital C, we're going to be going up and around to make a curve. But instead of starting at the top of the line, boys and girls, we're going to start at our midline or our dotted line. So here we are, up, around, and down. K, K, C for cat. Let's try it again. Watch closely. We're gonna start here, bring it around and down. Good job, boys and girls. And again, we're gonna start here, bring it around and down. Oops, I went a little too low on that one. There we go. C for cat. 
All right, so now that you've practiced writing your letters, boys and girls, did you have a favorite letter that we practiced today? Go ahead, raise your hand and tell me which letter you liked the best today. You. Very good. I love that letter too. I like the letter O the best, if you ask me, because it's so easy to do. But I also liked that letter as well. Good job. All right, boys and girls, you are all doing so well today. I'm really loving that everyone's looking at me and everyone's practicing their letters with me and nobody's talking and everybody has their eyes on me. So we are almost through with our lesson, but before we end, I wanted us to do something a little fun. Okay, boys and girls. So what we're gonna do is I have a little chart here. And on this chart, I have six different options of small brain breaks we can do. And these brain breaks are just a few seconds long, but it's fun to get up and get moving, don't you think? So what we're gonna do is we're going to use my dice and we're going to roll the dice and find out which brain break we're going to be doing today. So let's try it. Today's brain break is number five. See, count the dots on my dice. One, two, three, four, five. So let's see what number five is. Touch your right hand, this one here, to your left shoulder here, and touch your left hand here to your right shoulder here. Do this five times. So are we ready, boys and girls? You can do this sitting down, or you can stand up too. Are you ready? On the count of three, we're gonna touch our right, to our left and our left to our right and maybe we're going to give it a squeeze and then we're going to do it again for five times. So let's go ahead and try it on the count of three. One, two, three. Right to left, left to right, give a squeeze nice and tight. That's one time. Right to left, left to right, Give a squeeze nice and tight. Right to left, left to right. Give a squeeze nice and tight. That's three times, boys and girls. We have two more times. Right to left, left to right. Give a squeeze nice and tight. Good job, boys and girls. One more time, and I want you to really, really squeeze this time. Right to left, left to right. Give a big squeeze, nice and tight. Good job, boys and girls. Now, if you wanna just kind of shake it out a little bit, take a second, wiggle your fingers, roll your wrists, stretch a little bit before we get started in the next half of our lesson, okay? Alrighty, boys and girls. So let's get comfortable again. I know after moving a little bit, we might have to rearrange the way we're sitting. So remember, our expectations are that we're sitting on our bottom, we're listening, our eyes are forward, and we're not talking when the teacher's talking. All right, so now we're gonna do some word writing. And how we're gonna do this, boys and girls, is we're gonna look at the pictures. And together, we're gonna find out, we're gonna figure out which word goes with what picture. And then I'm going to have you try to write the word on your own, boys and girls. I want you to really listen to the word, sound it out, and I can help you along the way. So for this, you're still going to need a piece of paper and something to write with. You may use, um, you may use a whiteboard if you have one, but if not, the piece of paper you had is fine as well. If you still need to go get materials or you need more materials, then go ahead and pause the video, okay? Gather your materials and come on back. All right, boys and girls, so looking at our first picture today, we have, it looks like a boy in a bed and maybe he's sleeping. What do you think? 
What could he be doing? <gasps> Very good. I heard someone say nap. I heard someone say that he could be napping. N -a -p. N -a -p. I hear three sounds. Let's see if we can write down which each letter of this, the word is. The word we're writing is nap. Mm. Go ahead, get your piece of paper and your writing utensil and write the word with me. Our first sound is n, mm, which is the letter n. Our second sound is the letter, or the sound a, ah, n, mm, a, ah, which is the letter a. Good job, boys and girls. And our last sound is p, p, which is the letter p. So boys and girls, I have this word here. N, a, p, n, a, p, nap. And that goes with this picture here. This boy is taking a nap. All right. Now, how about our picture here? What could this be? Think about it. I think your parents might use it when they're in the kitchen to cook. Good job, boys and girls. That is a pan. P -p -an. So let's go ahead and try to write the word on our own. Remember, sound it out. P -e -n. P -e -n. All right, when you're ready, hold your piece of paper up to the screen so I can see what you wrote. Let's see. Good. Job, I see some of you are still finishing up and I see some of you have already written the word pan. Let me show you what I wrote. Pan, P-A-N, pan. Good job, boys and girls. Our next one is going to be this picture up here, boys and girls, and what do we see in this picture? I see a baby. And I see a man holding the baby. What do you think this man holding the baby, what do you think his name is or, or who is he? A dad. Good job. I think our next word is dad, which is also our word of the day. So let's go ahead and try to write the word dad. D -a -d. Remember, We've got three sounds in that word. D, A, D. All right, once you've written the word dad on your own, I want you to hold your paper up and show me what you wrote. Good job, let me see. Very good, boys and girls. I see a lot of people wrote dad. D A D Dad D A D Good job. Our next word is the going to be this one right here boys and girls. What is this a picture of? A dog. Everybody loves a dog. And how do you think we write the word dog? D A G D Oh, good. Let's try it and then show me your piece of paper when you're done, okay? D. Oh. G. All right, let me see. Some people are done. Let's see? Very good. Good job. Now, dog can be a hard one to spell and to write out, but you all tried and did really good. I'm so proud. Here's what I wrote. Dog. D-O-G. 
G, dog. D, O, G, dog. All right, we only have two more words that we're gonna be writing today, boys and girls. Our next word is pin. So this is a push pen and it's used to hold things up on the board. So for the word pin, let's try it together. The first sound I hear in my word is p, p. I hear p, which tells me it's the letter P. P, p. p for pen. Now the next word I hear is I, I, which is the letter I. P, I, I, p, I. And then at the very end, I hear mmm. Mm. What sound, what letter makes this sound? Mmm. Mmm. Very good, boys and girls. It is the letter N. So we should have this word on our paper right now Pen. P I N. Pen. P I N. Pen. All right, boys and girls, time for our last word. Here I have a dot. That is a dot. And how do you think we spell the word dot? Let's sound it out. D -a -t. D -a -t. All right, let's try it on our own and then we'll try it as a group, okay? So remember, d -a -t. All right, take a few more seconds. D -a -t. All right, start to lift your paper up and show me what you wrote. Let's see it. Ah, very good boys and girls. A lot of you did really well. And I noticed that a lot of you started the word dot with the letter D. Good job, kiss your brain. Very good. Let me show you what I wrote. Dot, D-O-T, dot, D-O-T, dot. Very good, boys and girls. Let's give ourselves a round of applause because writing words can be hard sometimes, and you all did so good. So, round of applause. Way to go. All righty, boys and girls. Now it's time for our tricky words. Now, tricky words are kind of hard sometimes. Now, the tricky words we're going to be working on today are I and A. Now, you might say, Miss Sophia, I and A are letters, not words. But, boys and girls, I'm here to tell you that both I and A are actually letters and their own word. So, let's see. The letter A usually makes what sound, boys and girls? It makes the ah uh, sound, right? But when the letter A is a word instead, it usually makes the sound A, like A umbrella or a uh, umbrella. So I know that sounds really confusing, but just keep listening and practicing with me. We're gonna try some sentences that are gonna make it a lot easier. So let's review with the letter A again. A normally makes the sound A, ah, except when it is by itself and it is its own word. So let's say I said, 
A bird flew over the tree. See how I said a bird flew over the tree. Instead of saying ah, uh, like I would normally say, I would say a, like a bird flew over the tree. So the A says its own name. Now, for the letter I, you might want to say I. So let's say it was I like ice cream. You might want to say I like ice cream. But that's not right, is it, boys and girls? We say I. The I says its own name. So instead of hearing the I sound, you're going to hear the I sound. I know it's a little hard to understand, but we're going to look at a few sentences together and we're going to practice the tricky I and the tricky A. And we'll continue to review it so that we fully understand. So let's get started with our tricky I's and A's. All right, so starting with the tricky, starting with our, oh, starting with our tricky A, boys and girls. Let's start. A, pan. A, dad. A, pit. Or, a, pan. A, dad. A, pit. You see the difference? A pan. I see a pan. I see a dad. I see a pit. See how the letter A is just saying A? Good job. Now let's try our tricky I. I nap. I dig. I got a cat. I got a cat. Do you hear how the I is saying I? You do hear it. Good job. Let's go over them again. Follow along with me. So put your fingers up, point to the screen, and follow me right here, starting with A. A pan a dad a pit i nap i dig i got a cat now boys and girls do you notice anything about this sentence down here what are some things we could point out about this sentence? Very good. It's got both the tricky I and the tricky A. What else? Very good, boys and girls. It's got a period at the bottom here, at the end here, and it's got a capital letter over here. Good job, boys and girls. All righty. So now that we've talked a little bit about our tricky I's and our tricky A's, we're going to work on identifying nouns. So I want you to listen to what I say, and I want you to point out the word that describes a person. So we know a person is someone like mom or dad. Maybe it's child, baby, girl, sister. That is a person. It's not their name but it's a word you can use to describe a person. I'm going to say the next few words or a few small sentences, and I want you to tell me which word is describing a person. So my first one is happy child. Happy child. So take a second and think about it. Which word am I using to describe a person. Which word is being used in place of a person's name?
Very good, boys and girls. I hear a lot of you talking about the word child, which means like a small kid, right? Yes, very good. So the word child is the noun that we're using to describe a person, to put in place of the person's name. So instead of saying, happy Christopher, we're saying, happy child. Good job. Let's try our next one. Funny baby. Funny baby. Which word is the noun for a person? Good job, boys and girls. It's the word baby. Good job. Now on to our next one. Our next one is nice teacher. Nice teacher. Which word are we using to describe or as a noun for a teacher? Yes, very good. We are using the word teacher to describe the person. All right, next one, girl runs. Girl runs. Good job, our noun is the word girl. Good job, boys and girls. All right, on to our next one. We only have three more to do, okay? Boy plays. Boy plays. Good job, boys and girls. I hear a lot of people saying boy. Boy is the noun in the sentence. Okay, how about sister plays? Sister plays. What is the noun in our sentence? Good job, the noun is sister. And last one, boys and girls, grandmother smiles. Grandmother smiles. What is the noun of our sentence, boys and girls? Very good, it is grandmother. All righty, boys and girls, so our lesson is coming to an end, but before we end our lesson today, I just want to review what we've learned today. So first, we talked about our word of the day. What was our word of the day today, boys and girls? Go ahead, on the count of three, shout it out. One, two, three. Dad. Our word of the day was dad. After we worked on our word of the day, we reviewed some of our segmenting and blending. So we learned two new strategies today. Remember, counting our fingers, just like this. Or when we're putting our words together. Yes, then we worked on some vowels, A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. And we worked on some sentence writing or more word writing. We worked on our letter writing today. We did I, A, O, and C, uppercase and lowercase. And we did some nouns. We worked on our nouns just now. So we did nouns and we also did our tricky letters. I almost forgot about them. And our tricky letters were I and A. And A as a word makes its own, says its own name, A. And I as, its, as a word says its name, I. So instead of I or A, ah, it says A and I. And then for our nouns that we went over just a little bit ago, we learned that a noun is a person. So it's not necessarily just their name, but whether a word that describes them. So it's a sister or a brother, a grandmother, a dad, a mom. It could be anything like that. So I know we covered a lot of information today, boys and girls, but let's just check our objectives and make sure that we completed everything we were supposed to today. 
So by the end of today's lesson, boys and girls, are you able to segment words into phonemes by tapping two fingers together for each sound? Remember our little practice strategy? We practice k -at. So yes, give me a big check mark. Put your fingers up. Start here. Check mark. Good job. Also, by the end of today's lesson, boys and girls, were you able to produce words with different vowels and consonant sounds? I think so. We've said cat. We said hat. We said pan and pen. So yes, let's give ourselves a check mark. Check mark. And also by the end of today's lesson, boys and girls, are we able to separate the sounds in our, syl in our syllables? Were we able to separate the sounds in single syllable words? So were we able to see that k -at has three sounds? We were, so another check mark. And lastly, boys and girls, are we able to recognize and identify nouns in simple sentences? So if I said, happy sister, what's the noun? Very good, boys and girls, the noun is sister. So check mark. So we got four check marks today, which means today's lesson is all done, boys and girls. I hope you had a good time, and I look forward to teaching you again. Bye, boys and girls.